I was, and I do write about that kind of in depth in the book. It is kind of raw, like you said, but just laying on the floor and um, like my, I think my parents were a little bit concerned about me too at that time. And uh, it was just really hard. And it was something I thought I'd never share with anyone because I was probably a little bit embarrassed about it too at the time. And I hadn't gone through um, all the work I'd done since then. But one thing I did when I was teaching is I would Skype all these artists around the world. And so I kind of used like teaching as leverage to meet all my favorite artists, but it also helped my students. And so there was an artist named Boca, who's um, a guy I found in college. He's on YouTube and uh, he's a really big artist and he lives in Austria. And I asked him if I could go out and visit his place. And they were like, yeah, you can come. They said July 3rd, I remember. So I got all these friends together and I said, hey, let's take this trip to Europe. I'd only been one time. I went when I was an 18 with my best friend and his family. And uh, so, yeah, I just was like, all right, I'm going to go to Europe. All my friends backed out of the trip because of whether it was timing or money. And I just decided, screw it. Like you kind of got to either I'm taking this opportunity now or I'm not. And so I planned out this nine day backpacking trip. And uh, it felt really crazy at the time because it wasn't it was way out of character for me wasn't necessarily something that like my family had done. And so I went to Paris, Austria, Rome, planned it all out. Basically it was all centered around seeing Boca and getting to meet him. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how it came about. And I just decided to do it. That's awesome. No, I, I love the stories you tell uh, as well. Like even, um, you know, just showing up at his house, I, I kind of put myself in your shoes and just think it was a studio like, but... or his studio. Yeah. Like, like putting myself in your shoes, uh, going, you know, halfway across the world and then just basically knock it on the door and be like, I hope they let me in. I mean, that's, was that kind of what you were thinking? Yeah, it was a little bit weird. And, uh, I think I put, and I'd only met him one time virtually through Skype and I'd Skype with like, I don't know, like 300 kids from Ozark. And so we had this big thing and then, you know, I'd message just a tiny bit and, uh, yeah, so it was a little bit crazy. And I also too, I didn't want to look like like, obviously, I was a fan of his work, but I didn't want to look like a crazy person that was like obsessed either, you know, so I, could see I was that. trying to be real natural because I mean, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like I was obsessed, but it was just this cool opportunity and I wanted to take it. And so, yeah, um, but it ended up being really cool. I met his wife was there and I'd been kind of in contact with her. She does a lot of his management stuff and she like, gave me a hug and said, hey, good to see you. And I got to meet his son and they made me food. And then I had this he had this awesome studio and I've got it in my books and pictures of it, but I mean, it's beautiful, two story. And, uh, it's in Austria. His house is in Greece on the beach. Like there's, if you look at his books, like there's different stuff there. So he's had a real successful career, but I just felt honored to like be there and get a chance to learn from him. And I got two hours in a studio, just me and him and his wife and getting asked ask every question I ever wanted to ask. 